Thank you for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Simi Salah Adigun, and these are stories trending at the moment. The Senate, through its Public Accounts Committee, has queried the State House and 557 ministries, departments, and agencies over the failure to account for the 969 billion naira intangible assets in the 2019 budget. Members of the panel, chaired by the Vice Chairman of the Committee, Senator Ibrahim Adeja, while considering the report, lamented the humongous amount categorized as intangible assets in the 2019 budget as captured in the Auditor General of the Federation's report. The representative of the Accountant General of the Federation, Shuaibu Sikiru, said the template would be redesigned to accommodate the observation in subsequent years. Ahead of the May 29 handover, the Defence Headquarters has vowed to resist anything that would truncate democracy. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, threatened to crack down on potential threats to national security and warned the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, the Eastern Security Network and other fringe groups not to test the will of the military. He said the peaceful conduct of the general elections, despite the insecurity engineered by the outlawed groups, was a testament to the military's resolve to ensure security across the country. The management of the University of Benin Edo State has condemned the killing of a final year student of the school, simply known as Mayo. A, stu Mayo, a student of the Department of Public Administration and the Kegite chief of the school was shot in the face at close range at 9 p.m. on Monday. Reacting to the incident, the public relations officer of Uniben, Benedicta Ehanire, in a statement on Tuesday, disclosed that the management was working closely with the police and internal security to apprehend the killer. India has recorded a total of 2,994 new COVID-19 cases. The country's total active caseload has now gone up to 16,354, as updated by the Health Ministry. According to the ministry's data, 143,364 tests were conducted and 9,981 COVID-19 vaccine doses were administered in the last 24 hours. So far, 220.6 vaccine doses have been administered on the nationwide vaccine drive. The total amount of foreign airlines trapped funds in Nigeria has risen to $802 million. This is according to the latest figure by the International Air Transport Association, the Switzerland-based trade association of World Airlines. As a result, Hayata has warned the Nigerian government that the situation could hamper air connectivity, economic growth and the development of the country's aviation sector. On the global scene, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has unveiled a four-member crew for its upcoming mission around the moon. According to NASA, the space voyage will be no earlier than late 2024. Their Artemis II mission around the moon and back is expected to pave the way for the future lunar landings and human exploration of Mars. The 10-day mission, which would be NASA's first crewed voyage around the moon in over half a century, includes the first woman, the first person of color, and the first Canadian. In sports, the chairman of the Referees Committee of the Nigeria Football Federation, Faith Irabo, has hinted that the Interim Management Committee of the Nigerian Professional Football League will look further into the incident which forced the March Day 12 encounter between Remo Stars and Gombe United in Ikene to be abandoned on Sunday. The game eventually ended goalless, leaving Remo Stars third in Group A with 21 points, while Gombe United remained seventh with 14 points. That's the latest on the newsroom at this time. Do join us again for more updates. Thank you for watching.